Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're looking at converging lenses. I'm going to teach you guys how we draw the ray diagrams for different um, positions of the object. And you can see here that the object has been placed behind the focal point and here the object has been placed in front of the focal point. And we're going to see how that affects the image that we see in the lens. So let's start with this one, um, A. We draw two rays of light from the top of the object. And I'd advise everyone to draw two lines. We draw one that's going parallel um, to this principal axis, and that's the line that goes through the centre of the lens. And we draw another ray of light that goes through the centre of the lens. Well, the ray of light that goes through the centre of the lens doesn't refract. It just keeps going straight through the lens. Whereas the one that hits the lens um, from the top of the object, it will refract and it will go through the principal focus. And you can see here that the light rays have actually met at a point right here. And that is where our image would form. So if we was to look through this lens, this is where we would see the image. Now we can describe that image using some key words and these are the ones that you'd have to use in your exam whether the image is magnified or diminished whether it's bigger or smaller basically if it's real or virtual or if it's upright or inverted So let's take a look guys at what these terms mean Well you can blatantly see here that the image is much bigger than the object So this tells us that the image is magnified. And we can also tell that this is a real image because the light rays actually met, they crossed over at a point. So this is what we call a real image. Um, the image is upside down or inverted, it's not the right way up. So we would also say that this is inverted. Now let's see what happens um, if the object is placed in front of the focal point. Again, we draw two rays of light from the top of the object, like so. Um, the one that hits the lens parallel to the principal axis will refract and go through the focal point. And the ray of light that went through the centre of the lens, well, that one doesn't refract. And if we were to use our eye to look through that lens, what we would see is these light rays would appear to be coming from back here. And I've drawn them with dotted lines because they're not real rays of light. And here would be our image. This is what we would see in the lens. Straight away we can tell that the image here is magnified because it's much bigger than the object. It must be virtual because the rays of light never actually met they appear to meet behind the lens and the image is also upright, it's facing the right way up, it's not upside down. For either of these two examples, you could be asked to calculate the magnification of the image or what's the magnification of the lens. Well to do that you would need a ruler and you would measure the height of the image using your ruler and you would divide it by the height of the object, again using a ruler. 
If you divide those two numbers together, it will tell you the magnification of the lens. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch for another video.